Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones, and uh, oh, hit the table. And uh, today we're going to be kind of throwing it back, and we're going to do some more uh, panfish lures. Um, so if you remember, a few months ago, I made, uh, I did a video on a mold that was sent to me by uh, one of you, by a subscriber, and uh, and it was a Jacob's Bates mold that he had kind of modded into a core shot um, panfish lure. So today I've got that mold back out again. Um, I have a good friend of mine who's a big kind of uh, crappie and catfish guy. And uh, I, I sent him a text and I said, Tyler, what are some of the best and, uh, and most widely used um, and widely effective crappie bait uh, colors? And so he sent me a list. And so we're gonna do a few of them today. Um, so hopefully these turn out well. Uh, like I said, I only have one mold. Um, but it's a really great mold. If you are interested in making panfish lures uh, yourself, soft plastic lures, um, definitely visit, uh, I would say, Jacob's Molds. He has probably the, the best selection of, of little panfish baits. Without further ado, we're gonna jump in and let's have some fun making some spec baits. Okay, so we have a few things laid out here. First and foremost, the mold. There it is right there. Okay little tin cavity uh, mold there and I took the rods out because I'm not making core shots today uh, we're gonna make actual already existing colors in the market um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna be using some medium blend plastisol this is the dead-on plastic uh, swim bait jerk bait blend from the black bucket real dense heavy sinking plastic uh, that's, that's probably my favorite stuff I like the floating stuff too but if you were to ask me to make you some baits, I would probably go to the black bucket stuff the majority of the time. Uh, it's just kind of what I've just um, kind of gravitated towards. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the basics. He said that the number one color that everybody's talking about is called monkey milk. And when I looked at monkey milk, I could not believe my eyes. This is shad color 101. It is literally blue highlight. Let's get that in focus. Yep, there it is. Blue highlight. Whoops. And some little black flake. I make a color like this called mint chocolate chip that I've been throwing on Alabama rigs for years. And I mean, it, yeah, whenever I saw that, I was like, okay, any speck that bites monkey milk literally thinks it's a tiny shad or a glass minnow or something like that. Like, it, it was not your normal spec color, at least not to me. I don't fish for specs all that often. Um, so anyway, we're going to start with the basics. It's just a single color. It's basically a shad color. We're going to cook up our plastic, uh, clamp up the mold here, and, uh, and then go ahead and mix that color up. And um, yeah, this is monkey milk. All right, so there we go. Have our swim bait plastic cooked up there. And there again just some blue highlight powder. We literally don't need to add anything else. No actual pigment, no other color powders, no white powder. That right there will do it all by itself. You know, and just the nature of the powder being in there, as you can see, turns it pearl white, but it has the, of course, blue sheen to it, just being that it's highlight powder. Yeah, you can kind of, as you move it around, you can see it kind of glimmer in the light. Zoom makes a color that uses highlight pow blue highlight powder and literally calls it glimmer blue because that's what it does. It glimmers blue. So now we just need some small black flake. This is the uh, 0.015. And we're just going to start with that much just to see what that looks like. Don't want to don't want to put too much, of course. You can always add more, but you can't take it back. Yeah. Hey, that's starting to look about right. I think I want just a smidge more though. The more you make baits, the more the term smidge, you know, sort of like cooking. You know, you're you kind of invent your own uh, measurements there. All right, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're um, gonna heat it back up, let those uh, bubbles settle out, then we're ready to go. 
All right, so we got most of the bubbles out. All righty, so let's back up here and let's get ready to, uh, to shoot this mold. Here we go. Draw up our plastic. You don't need much, because again, you know, you're dealing with small baits here. So we're gonna hold lots of pressure. And anytime I say hold pressure, that doesn't mean put your body weight into your injector. You don't want to put liquid hot magma under too much pressure in your injector. That just means whenever I push down whatever force I'm using to push down with, I just hold it for a while. That doesn't mean I'm like actively leaning on my injector. So just a little tidbit there. Do not try to like force the injector if it won't go. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's monkey milk. That's at least what it looks like in all the pictures. Um, very, very, very simple recipe. And uh, as you can see, I mixed up enough to make quite a few of these. So we're gonna run through them real quick. And then we're gonna uh, move on to the next color, which I believe is called Cajun Cricket. All right, let's get these out. See how they did. Yeah, look at that. That's it. That is monkey milk. Beautiful, beautiful shad color. I mean, make, make this in your jerk baits, in your little swim baits, chatter bait trailers. Um, killer, killer stuff if you're fishing around shad. And apparently, killer for specs. So, I love it. Let's make some more. All right, round two. Here we go. Yes, sir, just like that. These solid colors are as simple and good as it gets. Beautiful. Yeah, we'll definitely get a few, a few runs out of this. And here's the next round. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Next. On to the next run. We're just gonna kind of milk these monkey milks uh, until we're out of plastic. All right, round three. After this one, I'll probably actually have to uh, do some remelt on the on the uh, plugs from the uh, injector. What I like about these little molds like this is that you don't have big runners, so you really don't have a whole lot of waste. So, anyway, moving right along here. All right, and here is run number three. Oh, came out on that side. All righty. Yep. Looking good in the bath. On to round four. All right, real quick, round four. All right, that was round four. All right, there is the baits from round four. Still looking like monkey milk to me. And so on and so on. Okay, and real quick, here's run number five. Yes, sir. Monkey milk. Okay, so we did six runs of them real fast, so uh, 60 monkey milk, uh, little grubs there. And uh, now we're going to um, work on a color called Cajun Cricket. It's kind of a orange and chartreuse with flake laminate. Um, so this mold technically does have a top and bottom. Um, so we're gonna try to laminate it accordingly, and that color is coming up right now. Okay, so orange and chartreuse laminate here, so. Dead on orange. Again, that's a very, very, very thick orange. So you don't need a whole lot. And dead on chartreuse. It's so chartreuse-like that you can barely read the label. That's how bright the stuff is. Okay. Boom. So let's see what that gets us here. Wow. 
what do you know it's orange and let's see let's see if this is gonna match the opaqueness yeah that's actually doing pretty well I think the bottom side is actually a little more see-through anyway and uh, chartreuse tends to be kind of a see-through color now we need to add some flake so we're gonna add medium black 0 0.035 most of it goes on the bottom but it looks like there's a little on the top as well so again not too much on the top that's actually looking it's actually looking about right just a little bit it's kind of scattered flake here and there the bottom is is where it's actually more of a peppered chartreuse oh my god this is going to rock yep this is going to look killer all right um yeah what do you guys think you know it's kind of like uh, uh some crawfish colors that i've made before you know this is this is very crawfish like in a way and uh and i love what black flake does to chartreuse it turns it green for the most part always does that um yeah we're going to uh go get the twin injector and um maybe pop these back in the microwave for just a minute or so and then we're ready to go okie doke y'all here we go so just getting my gloves on here all right so the orange is the top side chartreuse is the bottom so here we go Just like that. How, I mean, how cool of a name is this? Cajun Cricket. I mean, Cajun Cricket and Monkey Milk are both awesome names. We're not near that creative in the bass fishing world. You know, we have like Black Grape, Watermelon Red, Crawfish, Green Pumpkin, not Monkey Milk and Cajun Cricket. Really, really, really cool stuff. All right, and now we're gonna show you the ancient ritual of the drum roll on the mold. Here we go. Hopefully these are good. Yes. Orange top. Yeah. There they are. Kind of zoom in. Yes, sir. Cajun Cricket. What an awesome name. Yeah, I mean, you know, aside from just tweaking it however you might personally want to tweak it, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Um, you know, simple simple color idea, but uh, if I was uh, if I was a big old swab crappie, I'd I'd bite it. All right, let's go for round two on these. So again, just gonna kinda stir in my flake there. Keep it suspended. There again, you know, you don't really have to suck up very much plastic. All right. Orange on the top. This, uh, this gentleman who sent me in this mold uh, labeled his TB, top bottom. So. Uh, if you're new to plastics and you have molds that you plan on shooting laminates with and don't want to ever get it mixed up by accident, Sharpie marker does wonders. Just label it top bottom. Something I should probably do, honestly. All right, let's see how round two did. So far, so good. Yep. All good. Boy, that really is pretty really is a really good looking color a lot like some grass grenades I've made before so yep definitely a good one uh, if you want to try making panfish lures at home all right and we'll do uh, we'll do one more run here I've got enough to do probably a few more runs but uh, I actually want to try another color that I uh, didn't necessarily think I was going to do uh, when I started uh, the video, so. Oop, sorry about that. Always trying to do this around the camera. Okie doke. 
Alrighty. But yeah, that's a fun one right there. Cajun Cricket. Definitely uh, a winner in my book. All right, so keeping with the Cajun theme, this is Cajun chicken, and it's essentially um, electric chicken, but instead of a laminate, it's a split tail. So the body is going to be the pink, and then the tail is going to be chartreuse, and then I'm going to throw some hologram glitter. Um, so basically, uh, there again, going to be a real bright, fun, simple color. Dead on plastic, neo pink. Some really, really, really good stuff there. You can also use uh, another good one, is Lure Works Hot Pink. And then we're going back to our chartreuse. All right. Just like that. So, let's get our pink mixed in. Beautiful. And I mean, that's pretty much it. And our chartreuse side. Again, like I was saying, we're gonna add some hologram flake, but I'm not gonna add that till I'm um, ready to, to shoot the tails, um, which will be just a minute from now. Uh, the less you can have your hologram flake um, exposed to hot plastic, the better. It tends to, um, to, to lose its color uh, quicker than uh, average flake. So anyway, um, now we're, um, we're gonna um, let these bubbles work out May even throw it in the vacuum chamber just to uh, save time. And um, then what we're going to do is we're going to add the hologram flake. We're going to shoot the chartreuse tails, clip them off, shoot the pink bodies, and uh, that'll be Cajun chicken. All right, so real quick, if I can find my, uh, yeah, there it is. I swear, these things always get lost, your, um, your little uh, teaspoon things. All right, so this is really great stuff. This is Lure Works silver hologram flake and uh we're really gonna load it up that's a lot of flake for like half a cup of plastic ultimately so we're just gonna stir this in real quick really 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 great stuff and you know, just the only only downside about hologram flake is that it's a little soft it will uh it will die on you pretty quick uh from the heat all right, so now we're just shooting uh, the whole mold first with this color. All right, actually, don't need to top it off because I only need the tails to fill. So anyway, that's what it's looking like right there, if I can get it to focus for you guys. Yeah. All righty. Okay, so here comes the intricate part that is going to take a little while. Um, so basically I kind of have to decide where do I want to snip these tails off. I think I'm going to do it just above this joint. The obvious answer is the joint, but I want a little more plastic to bond together um, than right there. Oops. So I'm going to kind of do this the hard way and kind of do it right above the joint. That way there's enough mass there that hopefully will get um, a decent bond. Yeah, hopefully that, hopefully you can see what I'm talking about there. You can see that kind of fat end left on the tail instead of just uh, killing it right there, that little narrow part. So, um, yeah, that's... That's how we're gonna do these. I'll meet you back when I have them all cut. Well, I actually have to shoot the uh, chartreuse again because not all the little tails filled, up, filled in all the way. And uh, I'm not gonna go to the trouble of doing this if the tails look bad. So uh, stand by, we gotta uh, run more of these. Okay, that's looking a little better right there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and close the mold. That felt like it closed pretty well. Now we're going to uh, shoot the uh, pink color. And that should be that. Okay, here we go. 
Let's see if these turn out. I certainly hope that they will and think that they will. You know, not every mold is made with doing this sort of uh, split color stuff in mind, you know, and what I mean by that is the venting inside the mold. Um, sometimes when you fill the mold, then cut a piece off and leave it in there, you're technically blocking the, the vent. I mean, you're, you're literally blocking the path that the air needs to take to vent properly. So sometimes you get dents up in the front of the bait. Let's say you're doing a split tail. Well, maybe the body of the bait, because of that air issue, that air can't escape, you'll get dents. Um, to try and combat that, you're seeing I'm holding a lot of, uh, of pressure here, just a lot of just holding pressure for an, an extended period of time. Um, so anyway, hopefully those turned out. Um, there are some molds that are made for, for these split tails. You know, you'll have a port here, you'll have a port there. And uh, that's really the way to go if you were going to try to make a lot of panfish lures, especially to sell. Um, you can get molds that are set up for it. Um, but if you don't have one and you just want to do them for yourself or just to, you know, have fun or be creative, you know, you can always do it like this. You can do this with any mold, really. Um, just like I said, some handle um, the, the venting uh, problems better than others. All right, we'll give these a quick drum roll because these should turn out cool, hopefully. A little double stroke and single stroke there. Moment of truth. Yes. So speaking to the bubble issue, you can see right here, yeah, kind of a little air bubble in there, but it's not a dent. Um, so denting is what I was really thinking might happen, but that's pretty hot right there. Let's let's put those put those back in where they where they belong. I think this right here, yeah, I'm thinking that right there's the thumbnail. What do you guys think? I don't know, maybe. I may just pile them all up and take a picture. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera here and pretend like I'm taking a thumbnail in case I don't actually use this. Okay, so there is everything. 59 monkey milks. It was 60, but one of the tails ripped off. Well, let's see, I think we did three runs of those. So that's 30 of those. It doesn't look like 30. Um, but yeah, I had three uh, sprues, so yeah, 30 of those, and then 10 of the uh, split split tail Cajun chickens. So we have some Cajun crickets, chickens, and then monkeys that uh, produce milk. So there we go, monkey milks, crickets, and chickens. Which which one is your favorite? I'm kind of digging this one up here because. In my head, that's more of a bass color. That's kind of what I, you know, am, am kind of prone to liking. Um, but which one would I rather throw at specs? Definitely this one down here, the, the saltwater color. That's like if I was spec fishing, I'd be like, I'm throwing that one. You guys can throw all this other stuff. So, yeah, which one is your favorite? Please let me know in the comments below. Well, all right, guys, just came out here to get a little fresh air and some sunlight. Uh, so I, I went fishing yesterday and it was a really bad trip. The wind was just blowing like crazy. Uh, of course, today's perfect when I, when I couldn't go, but at least I was able to film for you guys. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, if you want to help support the channel, uh, I do have a Teespring link to some merchandise um, down below. So uh, quite a few of you have bought some stuff. So hey, I'm, I'm very flattered. Um, but you know, every little bit helps support the channel and keeps the show going so you know every every youtube channel is you know doing whatever they can to to, to keep the camera rolling so um anyway hope you guys enjoyed um yeah panfish lures are a lot of fun the colors are always a lot of fun they're kind of like saltwater colors for the most part lots of split tail lots of bright stuff really fun stuff to make um if you're a bait maker so uh with that said i'm gonna go kind of chill out take a little sunday afternoon nap Landon's not here right now, so I have a little bit of quiet time, and I'm going to try to take advantage. And then I have to edit this video, so we'll catch you guys later.